Soon, everyone will understand why we are preparing. But for most, it'll be too late. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. Me and lots of other people here on YouTube, on forums, in person, in email, have been trying to wake others up to the preparedness lifestyle. I say lifestyle because it is. It is just that. It's more than just ordering things on Amazon and having a bug out bag. It's about skills. It's about growing your own food, raising your own animals. <clears throat> it's about foraging. It's about your tactical ability. It's about use and employment and safe, safely using and employing defensive weapons. It is about lots of different things. And a lot of people think us preppers are crazy right now. Well, time is short for them. Um, yeah, pretty soon they will understand. We were the smart ones. We weren't whack jobs. And I say soon because, yeah, I really feel it. And I've never been one to be conspiracy theorist, anything like that. But I did see a meme the other day. It was funny that... Uh, it was, uh, hey, anybody got any uh, conspiracies for me? Because uh, all mine are coming true. <laughs> hey, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot to that kind of stuff. Some of it's really out there, um, but a lot of it is serious. I mean, it comes about for a reason. And <laughs> I don't know if you see all the indicators, I see comments like, what, uh, uh, what is it exactly we're preparing for? What do we think is going to happen? Seriously? <laughs> Wake up. Open your eyes. Get off that screen. Get off that cell phone. Get off your mainstream media. Get off your soap operas or your dramas, whatever it is, your TV shows. All that predictive programming. Get out of public indoctrination systems a.k.a. public schools. You're being lied to. You're being indoctrinated. And I'm not necessarily blaming you. You may not, the people I'm talking to, may not know better or know any different. It's not necessarily their fault. It's just what they've been exposed to. They haven't had a chance to have anything else um, in front of them for them to see. <clears throat> and the little tiny bit that they may see uh, they just think it's crazy because they're overwhelmed with propaganda and indoctrination. But a lot more people are waking up. A lot more people are seeing. I mean, how can you, not, how can you help to not see increases in prices? Prices for everything are going up. It's getting crazy. Fuel, food, parts, supplies, I mean, everything. Lumber. A lot of stuff. About the only thing I, I've seen recently that isn't going up is silver. <clears throat> that continues to go down because the powers that be, the big powerful international bankers, um, they manipulate the system. Silver is right now way, way undervalued. I'm not a big gold and silver type prepper. My precious metals are lead, copper, and brass, but I do see the value of silver, especially right now, way undervalued, even compared to gold, way undervalued. And the fact that it's a tangible currency instead of a fiat currency. I see that. Um, I recommend if you get debt free, get your preps in order, get at least a year of food and other supplies for your family and yourself or whoever it is you're preparing for, <coughs> make sure you have defensive tools. Um, seeds for them, um, seed carrying devices for them, uh, training for it, and learn a bunch of skills, and then, if you have time and money, then maybe get into some silver. But I wouldn't recommend it right off the bat. Tangible goods are very important right now. One thing I'm standing next to you right now, I will show you, is maybe kind of weird, Maybe kind of crazy, kind of out there, some people may think, but hey, let me tell you, food is pretty easy to store. 
what about water? A lot of people, even preppers, um, really don't emphasize water as much as they should. So what am I talking about? Right there, kiddie pool, right? Hey, it's a water storage device. Am I gonna drink this water? No, but that's quite a bit of water to water the garden or to flush the toilets. You can do things like this. We got this one free from a friend. And this isn't necessarily water storage. We're going to play in it. We just filled it up this, um, last night. We're hoping for it to heat up. Um, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to, at 5 o'clock, my daughter and I have a pool date. We're going to get in this pool no matter how cold it is. So anyway, but even if it has our, you know, dirt and stuff like that from our bodies in it, who cares? It's going to flush toilets or water the garden if I have to. So store water and everything. I store water in milk jugs, um, tea jugs. Um, empty um, cat litter jugs, um, um, vinegar jugs, juice jugs. It all depends on, and I separate them and label them as drinking water, where I'll make sure I sanitize it thoroughly and only use certain containers for that. Nothing that had milk in it, nothing that had any chemicals in it, nothing that had bleach in it, nothing that had vinegar in it, all stuff like that. But so I put water in every single container I possibly can that we empty in the house. Cuts down on recycling and it increases our um, water storage. One thing I'm really looking at getting is one of those um, probably, um, I don't know if I'm going to go like a 3,000, 5,000, 6,000, whatever gallon um, st water storage tank from like um, Tractor Supply or um, with local feed stores or something like that. I may go that route. I have a place I could put it, and that would be a very good addition to our water storage. So that's something that's very important. Oh my gosh. Ah, drink break. Got to make sure you stay hydrated. Um, water, yeah, is, is a big thing. Um, and yes, pretty soon preppers will be vindicated about the fact that we're not the crazy ones. We're actually the smart ones. We're actually the ones that thought ahead. We're actually the ones that paid attention to what's actually going on around us. We're the ones that saw the signs. We're the ones that read the signs. We're the ones that received promptings. We are possibly the chosen ones. Because think about it. If we are, we have been awakened to the world of preparedness for a reason. That seed was planted in our minds by him, maybe, maybe somebody else, maybe you came across it randomly, um, maybe you're one of the people that woke up, you know, and over the last couple years, uh, saw people fist fighting for toilet paper. Um, yeah, that's one thing that's nice about being a prepper, is being proactive, not reactive, and always being one step ahead of everybody else. When everybody else was fighting over alcohol, hand sanitizer, mask, gloves, toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff, Shoot, I was picking up cases of bottled water. I was picking up bags, 50 pound bags of beans, 50 pound bags of rice, 40 pound bags of corn. I was stockpiling that stuff. I was picking up canned goods. I was picking up um, freeze dried stuff. I was picking up peanut butter. I was picking up all kinds of stuff. And along the way, freedom seeds. So now that they are very expensive, I don't have to buy anymore. So I don't care how expensive they get. Well, I do, I guess, because I'd always like to buy more. Um, some people, a lot of people ask me, well, what do I think is minimum for that? That's all stuff we talk a lot about on Patreon. Links in the description below. It's a dollar a month. We talk about a lot of stuff like that. Tactically related, security defensive, as well as gardening and other stuff, you know, general preparedness stuff. Um, yeah, and... Before I think, forget about it, because I usually forget to the end of the video. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content and you want to support a prepper channel, please subscribe. Please hit that thumbs up. Please share the videos. Comment below. Do all the things to help us with that, you know, system that keeps people like you and me down. Um, via that big C word, the big ugly um, anti-first word. Um, yeah. I want to stay viable on this platform because... I want to reach more people and tried other platforms, stuff like that. Honestly, this is still the best one for reaching the most people. 
and uplifting and empowering and making a difference in people's lives. So support, please support me, please support um, all other prepper channels, gardening channels, um, defensive type channels, tactical channels, all this kind of stuff. Um, foraging, uh, there's so much that you can do out there. But yes, we will be vindicated soon, soon enough. Um, things are going crazy. Um, things are about to really get, really get haywire. Um, and it's going to be a crazy time and it's going to suck. And um, no matter how well prepared we are, it's going to be um, trying times. It's going to be difficult. Uh, a lot of people may be very well prepped up and then be forced out and be SOL because they don't have anything cached and or no bug out locations. And so they just randomly head out into the mountains or the woods or whatever and they're screwed. So um, anyway, yeah, um, I would like to have more cached. Honestly, I would like to do a lot more caching. Um, I do have pre-positioned um, strategic reserves and supplies and et cetera things um, cached um, many different locations, uh, friends' properties, uh, random places, other properties I own, um, etc. Because I actually, my, prom my primary bug out location, I own. It's a, a pretty decent amount of acreage, um, way, way up in the mountains, way off grid. We'd have to run, what, like 15 miles of power lines to get power up there. And uh, yeah, it's uh, extremely remote. There's like, uh, what, five people within like five miles of our cabin? Yeah, good, good stuff there. I love it up there. I can't wait to get up there. We need to actually, talking about that, we need to get up there soon and uh, make sure it's all trimmed back well and make sure there's any, uh, take care of any bushes, take care of any grasses and stuff like that around the cabin and outbuildings because um, you know we're gonna start getting here into the bad part of the fire season. Um, I, I look forward to doing a bunch of videos up there. I can't wait. It's beautiful up there. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, <clears throat> yes, like I said, proactive, not reactive. We need to be thinking ahead. We need to be staying ahead of the power curve. We need to be staying ahead of everybody else. So when everybody else is buying this, we've already moved on to the next thing and are buying that. Um, a lot of times right now, people are buying defensive tools and the seeds and the um, seed holders and stuff like that. So we need to move past that to be body armor, night vision, thermal, helmets, advanced capability, stuff like that. Um, and if you're in an area where you can do so and you have the money and you want to go through the hassle, think about suppressors. Even think about auto if you're in a location or whatever can support that. Because where is it used that often? Mm, depends. Uh, but hey, if you could, I mean, shoot, why not? Just one of those things. Yeah, it's a lot more money though. So that's one of those things that's just uh, not really viable for most people. Not really realistic. Um, but yeah, make sure that you are staying ahead of the curve, make sure that you are always increasing your capabilities. And like I said, all that kind of tactical stuff we talk about on Patreon, um, links in the description below, dollar a month, I mean, it's, it's well worth it. Come join us on Team AP there. Uh, have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.